up for auction on Bring a Trailer is my father's 1969 Shelby. He pulled this out of a barn, I believe it was 23 years ago now. Uh, I think I was eight years old at the time. And we've worked on it uh, for a long time. I believe we've had it on the road for, I'm gonna say 12, 13 years now. Had a lot of fun, put a lot of miles on it. And uh, now he's starting to downsize to retire. Him and my mom are moving up north and their property is all gravel roads. So needless to say, the car's not coming with them. Car's original candy apple red, gold striped car, uh, C6 automatic, factory AC. Some suspension's been played with. It's got uh, big block springs in the front, Mustang one inch lower. The Shelby's always sat a bit higher. Boss 302 springs in the rear, one inch lower again. It's got slotted rotors on the front. Any modifications we've done to the car is all stuff that bolts on and can go back later, but makes it a better driver. We added intermittent wipers to it. Uh, 70 bolt-in door glass. The 69s was glue in and like to come loose, fall into the bottom of the door and smash. It's got the upgraded 70 front spindles on it. Uh, in the engine department, we've never had it on a chassis dyno, but the engine, when it was first built, made 377 horse and 501 foot-pounds of torque. It's original block. Uh, it's got a PIA aluminum intake on it, uh, mild cam, some upgrades to the valve train inside just to make it safer. If you're going to ask why the springs are out, if you don't know the Shelby's very well, the springs on the hood were quite heavy and especially with the hood, or sorry, with the uh, heat from the big block, the hoods tend to uh, bow in the middle so we've always left the springs out unless we go to a car show. They're sitting in the trunk. AC is complete, uh, but it's never been charged up. All the factory pollution controls under there. Everything that's supposed to be on the car is there. Other than in the trunk, it's been a bit of a point of contention on this car. The Shelby's were supposed to have uh, space saver spares. Now this car, when we got it, had five date coated full size spares, or sorry, full size wheels. One full size in the trunk too. And the bracket that holds the bottle for the space saver was never welded to the floor. So at this point, we haven't put anything in there. To be honest with you, I think if we ever got a flat tire, we, we'd be towing it rather than driving on an old space saver anyways. We added an AM FM radio to it all factory of the era stuff, nothing out of place. Original roll bar and harnesses in the car. Factory fold down seat. A lot of time went into fit and finish on this car. My dad was quite particular on it. If you know the Shelby's very well, you know that they didn't fit where the crap from the factory. Well, I can't say this is perfect. It's very nice. The paint shows very nice. It's nice and straight. This car isn't a trailer clean. We drove it quite a bit, so it does have the odd swirl from wiping it off here and there, but nothing that a really nice wax couldn't take care of. 